A long time ago, though a story like this could still happen till this very day, there lived a mama goat who had seven little goats of her own. The mama goat loved all of her seven kids more than her own life. They lived happily in a house at the edge of the forest. And when their mother was around, the little goats played carelessly in the beautiful meadow near their house. The older kids could be very daring and naughty at times, but the youngest one was hardworking and obedient. One day, Mother Goat called all of her kids together and said, Listen, my sweet dear children, I need to go in the forest to bring you food. But you need to lock the door and not open it to anyone besides me until you hear my voice. To make it easier to recognize me, I'm going to sing this song to you. Listen, my lovely little kids, would you please open the door? It's mommy, it's safe, go get the keys. I just brought you bottles of milk, a pound of salt and oats, a pound of salt and oats. Can I trust that you will obey? Yes, yes mommy. mommy! Don't worry about it, my dear sweet mommy. We're already grown-ups. We know we should do exactly what you tell us to do. All right, then. Now come to mommy so I can give you each a kiss goodbye. And please look after each other. Have a safe trip, mommy. Please be safe. And come back with some delicious food for us, please. As soon as Mama Goat left and went to run her errands, the kids closed and locked the door. But as the saying goes, the walls have eyes and ears. Wolf, a friend of Mama Goat, who had been waiting for an opportunity to eat the kids for a long time, was listening from behind the house and heard about the song. Finally, the time has come. Oh, I'm so hungry too. Now I just have to get them to open the door. Then I'll get right in and eat them up. <laughs> Wolf went to the door, cleared his throat and began to sing. <clears throat> Listen, my lovely little kids, would you please open the door? It's mommy, it's safe, go get the keys. I brought you bottles of milk, a pound of salt and oats. Come on, kids, go ahead and open the door for your mommy now. Let's open the door. Uh, mommy is already back uh, with all of our food. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's, let's open, open the door, door. let's do it. it. No, don't open the door. That cannot be your mommy. Her voice is delicate and beautiful. No low and horse like that, all right? When Wolf heard that, he went to the blacksmith and asked him to sharpen his tongue and teeth in order to make his voice more delicate. Then he went back to the goat's house and tried singing again. Would you please open the door, my little lovely children? Please open the door for me. You heard that? If that's not our mom, who would it be? I'm sure it's her. I'm gonna go and open the door. Brother, please don't open the door. That has to be someone who wants to trick us. Yeah, but if you're wrong, mom will be waiting outside for way too long. I'll just go and see if it's her. The youngest kid quickly hid in the stove and the rest ran in every direction. One slipped under the trough, the other hid behind the stove, and the third one decided to hide under the bed. It's like that saying, I'm not a coward, but I am afraid. The moment the oldest kid unlocked the door, Wolf <laughs> broke into the house and in a trice swallowed the oldest kid. Where are the others? Hmm. It's like they disappeared. Wolf searched all around the house, but the goats left no traces behind. Wolf sat down on the trough while sniffing around and suddenly sneezed with all his might. Bless you, dear Mr. Wolf. There is someone back there. So you all decided to hide, huh? Come here. Wolf I'll lifted get the trough and just like that, grabbed the kid and swallowed them whole. As the saying goes, my mouth is my enemy. Then, as he continued to look around the house, he found almost every kid. After devouring them and feeling satisfied, he left. As soon as Wolf left, the youngest kid came out of the oven, locked the door, and started to cry. Oh, my poor older siblings! If only you had listened to me! Wolf wouldn't have eaten you! This is terrible! I can't even imagine how sad Mommy's going to be when she gets home! Listen, my lovely little kid, 
kids. Would you please open the door? It's mommy. It's safe. Get the keys. I brought you bottles of milk, a pound of salt and oats, a pound of salt and oats. As soon as he heard her sing, the youngest kid opened the door, then rushed into his mother's arms crying and told her everything that happened. That can't be. Who? Wolf? After he promised not to scare my kids. Well, Wolf, just wait. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Mama Goat left the house and immediately started searching for Wolf. She soon found him sleeping soundly in the field next to the house. He had eaten so much that he couldn't even move anymore. Once she found him like that, she called her youngest kid and told him, My dear boy, do me a favor. Hurry home and bring me the scissors, a needle, and a spool of thread. The youngest kid ran home to bring his mother everything she needed. Meanwhile, Mama Goat looked at the satisfied wolf and said, You sly wolf, you won't get away with this. Next time you'll think twice before messing with people's kids. The youngest kid brought his mother the scissors, the needle, and the spool of thread. And then the goat cut Wolf's belly open. All of a sudden, the older kids jumped out of his belly, happy to be free again. Then Mama Goat filled his belly with rocks and stitched it closed. Well then, Wolf, this is the end of the road for you. You finally got what you deserved. And so the Mama Goat went back to her home with her kids, happy that she was able to save them from Wolf's belly and teach him a lesson. But Wolf eventually woke up. He yawned very loudly, stretched out his arms and legs, and said grumpily, Oh, I'm so thirsty. I feel like I've eaten a bag of rocks. I need some water. Wolf headed over to the river close by in the forest to get some water. However, because of the heavy rocks, he fell into the river and was dragged to the bottom. And so everyone in the forest gave a big sigh of relief because they didn't have to deal with the greedy wolf anymore. All the goats that lived in the neighborhood were really very happy and relieved when they heard about it and decided to celebrate. They came together to congratulate and thank their sister for what she had done and that they had finally gotten rid of the greedy evil wolf and lived happily ever after. My story has come to an end, but this story will continue to go on as long as grass grows and rivers run.